welcome back to the great YouTube Griddle Guy channel, guys. Today we're on location at mom and dad's house. We're going to be griddling up a country breakfast. We've got potatoes we're going to cook up on the Blackstone. we got some thick cut butcher shop bacon, ham steaks, sausage links. We're going to finish it off with some scrambled eggs, fried eggs. They're making biscuits and gravy in the house. It's going to be fantastic. Griddle's up to temp. We're going to throw these potatoes on here right now. Get them cooking off first. Hear that sizzle? That's what we want. We're looking for color. The more color you get on there, the better they taste. We've got the uh, shameless plug. We've got the breakfast blend from Blackstone Seasoning. It's awesome on potatoes for breakfast. Not just for breakfast either. We also use them on for dinner. Get these uh, spread out a little bit, folks. Make sure you're uh, sending in your questions and comments. Talking to one of my uh, loyal subscribers, Chad Matisse, today. He's one of the first guys that really got me to use the uh, the Masterville smoker for ribs. Follow a lot of Chad's recipes on Facebook too. There, Chadalax. Shout out to you, buddy. You get a close up of the taters there, Mike. My brother Mike's filming today. All right, guys, taters are cooking good, smelling fantastic. We're going to load this thing up with as much bacon as it'll hold. We got three pounds of thick cut bacon here. Who doesn't love bacon, right? Supposed to, uh, we're supposed to start out cooking for, uh, I think we're going to have 16 people over here today, but older brother and his family couldn't make it over, so we're going to have a lot of leftovers for everybody. All right, so these kids will eat on the bacon all day, all night. They'll eat on it tomorrow, too. We'll kick back on and we'll come back as soon as some of this bacon is done. We still got sausage to do and a little bit of uh, ham steaks and then it'll be on to the eggs. Stick around. All right, well, we got some bacon finishing up now. The potatoes are, are really looking good. I like to keep everything on the griddle as much as I can. Uh, I like to move things over from one side to the other temperature, you know. I got my middles a little hotter. Trying to cook the bacon a little better in the middle. Trying to keep it warm here on the left side. Then potatoes are still cooking on the right side. So the temperatures are low on the left and the right. Kind of higher in the middle. And I'll move those pieces of done bacon from the middle to the left. Uh, we still got sausage we want to cook. The, uh, the ham. Uh, that's my pro tip for the day, guys. Try to keep that as much food on the griddle as you can. Keep everything warm and fresh. That way when it's time to eat, nothing's cold. We'll, uh, we'll be back in a minute. We'll be throwing some sausage on here. All right, we got some sausages on here now. The bacon, like I said, we've got different people that like different levels of doneness on the bacon. So we got some that's more medium, some that's a little more... As far as I'm concerned, it's overcooked, but that's the way they like it. So you gotta you gotta know your audience, folks, because you're not just cooking for yourself here. And also, when you are cooking for them, you know you're in charge. Take your time, get it right, and get it done quick. Make sure that everything is the way you like it. Test that stuff, season it. Don't be afraid to put good seasoning on there, guys. Potatoes are still looking good. We're looking for more color on those. We uh, we turn the burner on the right side all the way off. The residual heat from that griddle is going to keep everything over there nice and warm. It's not going to keep cooking it though either since it is off. Just keep it as far as you can over to the right. Say hi to mom. Mom was uh, talking there. Hi mom. Hi mom. All right, so we got three nice little ham steaks on there now. We got eight pieces of turkey sausage because you know, three types of meats isn't enough. You gotta have that sausage link, the bacon, the turkey sausage, and the ham. Ham, you know, you're just trying to get some good color on those, really. Uh, once this ham and these sausages are done, I'm gonna cut off the heat on the second burner, move those over to the right, move the potatoes over one more spot, and then I've got 18 large eggs are gonna scramble here on the left. And I do it here on the left because this is the low side, Keep them eggs all nice and warm, keep them from running all over. We'll see you when we throw those on. Alright, so 
Potatoes are done. We got some good color on there. I like mine with some a little more done and some a little less done. So that's what we're going for because those flavors kind of meld in your mouth and turn into a delicious byproduct there at the end. Uh, sausages, ham, everything's over there on the right. Now we're going to do these eggs here on the left. Like I said, this corner will keep them all together, keep them from running. I like to put them on about 350 or so. Pour it real slow, that way you don't lose any of them. You want to go towards that rear grease trap. That's another thing about these Blackstones. Best thing about it is that rear grease containment system. See there, it's getting close. Going to the rear grease trap. As soon as we get there, we'll bring it on back. There you go. You guys know how to scramble eggs. If you didn't, you wouldn't be here. Like I said, keep uh, keep those questions and comments coming, guys. We're having a lot of fun. We do this all the time. Uh, you guys wanting to see more and more, you know, tell us what else you want us to cook on these things. Not just the Blackstone. What do you want to see on the gas grill or the, the Master Built Smoker? Let me know. Uh, I've kind of been wanting to do some uh, some beef short ribs on the Master Built. So if somebody wants to see that, let me know because I'd like to try it. I think they look pretty good. We'll come back to you when these eggs are done. Okay, the eggs are done. It's uh, just about time to eat. We're going to take everything off of here. Why don't you tell us what your favorite thing is to cook on your Blackstone, guys? Uh, let us know. Uh, it's kind of a cold, rainy beginning of fall afternoon here. And we pulled this thing under the carport. That's the best thing about it. It doesn't splash grease or smoke or anything all over the place. So, Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button, all right? And uh, keep in touch, guys. Thanks.